In a previous particle physics video, I showed how to construct the complete standard model Lagrangian with massless neutrinos, link in the description. Specifically, we arrived at this unbroken Lagrangian density and this spontaneously broken one. I also said that I would show how to add neutrino masses in a future video, and that's what this video is. As you can see, the first Lagrangian doesn't contain a neutrino Yukawa coupling term, and the second one doesn't contain neutrino masses as a result. We saw in the last video Video that this resulted from the fact that these Lagrangians were developed from a version of electroweak theory that also didn't include neutrino masses, which I started the series with because it's the historical theory. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add in neutrino masses. It really isn't very difficult to add them. The process basically consists of making the lepton-Yukawa coupling look like the quark-Yukawa coupling that the theory already contains. Let's review how the quark-Yukawa coupling works. It gives mass to both weak isospins of quarks by using left and right-handed versions of both to form massive Dirac spinners for them at low energy. On the other hand, while the lepton-Yukawa coupling functions the same way for the electron, the muon, and the tau, it lacks a term that gives mass to the positive weak isospin leptons, i.e. the neutrinos. In fact, because the right-handed neutrinos also don't participate in any other interaction either, given the chiral nature nature of the weak interactions in the color and electric charge neutrality of the neutrinos, the right-handed neutrinos are totally decoupled from the theory and are usually left out given that they therefore have no physical effect. If neutrinos are to get mass from the Higgs mechanism, right-handed neutrinos would no longer be completely decoupled from the rest of the theory. They would interact with the Higgs field, being necessary to form massive Dirac spinners at low energy. We therefore need to make two changes to our existing unbroken Lagrangian to cause the Higgs mechanism to give masses to neutrinos. First, we must introduce three right-handed vial fermion kinetic terms to the existing neutrino kinetic term, one for each generation, and second, we must use these new right-handed neutrino fields to build a second lepton Yukawa term that gives mass to the neutrinos in exactly the same way as the second quark Yukawa coupling term does for the positive weak isospin quarks. This includes the introduction of a mixing matrix for the neutrinos, the PMNS matrix, analogous to the CKM matrix for quarks, because the usual reason for including neutrino masses is to account for neutrino mixing. If we insert that into the standard model, we see that the complete unbroken standard model Lagrangian becomes this for the case of non-zero neutrino masses, and in the spontaneously broken Lagrangian, we see quite straightforwardly that the following changes must result from the adjustments to the unbroken theory. First, the left-handed vial neutrino kinetic term and the non-neutrino designation in the Dirac fermion sum in LK must be dropped, because the neutrinos will form Dirac spinners too now and second, the neutrino mixing matrix must be inserted into LC. And with that, we have the standard model with neutrino masses.